Bratz, we've tested virtually every single headphone set we could find for the Quest 2, except the expensive, fancy Logitech custom-made one, the G333VR. Let's open this thing up. Now you know I'm loving the Bionic Mantis headphones that stay on here all the time. They pop on, pop off your ears. They're all in one solution, cables out of the way. I like that about them. But these supposedly have some of the best audio quality. I got these on Amazon for 42. They're usually at least $50. So I saw they were a little cheaper. I was like, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna test them out. Little box, little piece of tape, small sharp unboxing knife to open it up. <laughs> Boom. Right tool for the right job. And these open up premium. Now, one of the fancy things about these Logitechs, they made these with dual drivers inside of each earbud. What that means is that you've got two drivers, one for your highs and your mediums, and then one just for your low bass. Cable's kind of flat. It's definitely, you can tell Logitech put in work to make these feel really good. Comes with some cable management to help you deal with it. And then some different size little ear cup. Usually mediums are okay for me. Sometimes I have to go small. I don't have very big ears, but usually mediums are at least okay. This would be one of those cases where mediums are not okay for me. The medium is pretty big. Went from medium to small, hopefully not too small. We'll find out here in a second. Oh yeah, much, much better. They're the kind of earbuds that plug your entire ear. So it kind of sounds like I can hear the blood flowing inside my head. It feels like I have a set of earplugs in. So they're definitely gonna do some some noise isolation for you and help you get that better audio quality by not letting outside noise in. So depending on what head strap you have, you're gonna be using this differently. But basically you got the short side is gonna be your left, the right side is gonna be the long one. And then they give you a couple Velcro straps to help you manage the cables and keep them out of your way. Now, the one thing I wish they included, cause the newer, some of the newer headphones have also a little spot that you can plug your headphone into and it holds it up for you. These, they're always gonna be dangling. Not the most elegant looking wire management. What I would probably do is I would go back and run these wires underneath the padding inside but it works boy those go in solid you know i gotta say already i feel like there is a really really good quality of the sound just because when you switch characters when you switch profiles on the quest 2 there is a popping sound and typically it sounds like a k -k. and with these it sounds like a nice when you do it. So already that sound effect is different than what I'm used to. Now I'm not a major audiophile. I enjoy audio. I've listened to it through a million different sets of headphones and stereos, but I don't consider myself someone who's an expert on the subject. I just appreciate audio and like it for what it is. From my perspective, these headphones so far sound really nice, really clear. I think those dual drivers are really making the difference that they're promising. We're gonna get in a game that has some real hard music and listen to it. Yeah, even the Pistol Whip menu music sounds just much better. And part of that's going to be in-ears. You're going to get better sound a lot of times than on-ears like I'm using now, but we use the on-ears for their convenience. There's so many details that I'm catching right now that I've never caught before. Like in Pistol Whip, in the main menus, before you've clicked on anything, there's actually a background music that I'm hearing really clearly that I never heard. Bass notes sound really good. Okay, wow. These are not you know, $200 headphones, Sennheiser audio quality, but compared to everything I've used on the Quest 2, these have really nice sound. They're actually tempting me to stop. I will I will continue using the Bionics after this just because of the convenience, the fact that Nat and I both use it for exercise and using uh, in-ears for exercise, not something you wanna share back and forth between the two of you. I will continue with the Bionics, but the audio quality on this really tempts me to just switch altogether. What I will probably do is I will probably strap these to my Rift S uh, because they'll fit it perfectly and I'll probably start using these for my Rift S all the time because good audio quality. It really sounds nice and there's so many things that I realized having these on, I was missing in-game menus, in just Oculus menus, sound effects sound much better, much clearer, and it just makes for an overall much nicer experience. So if my Quest 2 wasn't an exercise headset, I would say definitely go with these, but for exercise, you gotta go for hygiene first over sound quality sometimes. So if you've been on the fence, you've been thinking, are these worth that extra price versus the AMVR earbud? or the Kiwi ones, some of the cheaper ones. Yeah, if you've got $40 to blow, it's definitely worth it. You're gonna get a much better VR experience out of these earbuds. I'm really impressed. The only thing I wish, I wish they'd come with a little solution to pop these in here when you're not using them to kind of keep the cord out of your way. I highly recommend, I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in getting yourself a set of these, especially right now while they're a little cheaper than usual. Thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with us here today. I hope this video was informative, helped you make a decision on what you need to get. I will see you 
in another reality. Oh, I kind of want to keep using those. <laughs> they sound so much better. The Bionics are decent for what they are, but these just, everything was just so clear. 